Welcome to our deep dive into one of the ocean's most misunderstood creatures, the shark. Feared by many, respected by few, and crucial to the health of our oceans, sharks are far more fascinating than fiction ever shows. Sharks are a group of cartilaginous fish that have existed for over 400 million years, long before the dinosaurs. With over 500 known species, they range in size from the tiny dwarf lantern shark, just 8 inches long, to the massive whale shark, which can grow over 40 feet. Unlike bony fish, sharks have skeletons made of cartilage, which is lighter and more flexible. This helps them move swiftly through the water. Their skin is covered in tiny, tooth-like structures called dermal denticles, giving them a sandpaper-like texture and reducing drag. Sharks are equipped with incredible senses. They can detect a drop of blood in the ocean from miles away. They have excellent hearing and can detect low-frequency sounds that often signal struggling prey. But perhaps their most fascinating sense is the ampullae of Lorenzini, electroreceptors that allow sharks to detect the electric fields produced by the muscles and heartbeat of other animals. This makes them powerful hunters even in complete darkness. Hollywood often portrays sharks as bloodthirsty monsters, but this is far from reality. On average, sharks cause fewer than 10 human fatalities per year. In contrast, humans kill over 100 million sharks annually, mostly for their fins. Sharks are not mindless killers. Many species are shy, cautious, and even social. In fact, you're more likely to be struck by lightning than attacked by a shark. Sharks are apex predators, meaning they sit at the top of the food chain. They help maintain balance in marine ecosystems by controlling the population of other species. When shark populations decline, it can lead to the collapse of entire ecosystems. For example, without sharks, mid-level predators can grow unchecked and deplete populations of herbivores, which then affects coral reefs and seagrass beds. Sharks are essential to the health of our oceans, and in turn, to the health of our planet. But today, they face threats from overfishing, habitat loss, and climate change. We must shift from fear to understanding, and from exploitation to conservation. By protecting sharks, we protect the balance of life in the sea. Sharks are among the oldest living vertebrates on Earth. Their evolutionary history dates back over 400 million years, meaning they have survived five mass extinction events. How? Through adaptation. Over time, sharks have evolved an astonishing variety of forms and behaviors. Some, like the hammerhead, developed wide set eyes for improved visual range. Others, like the goblin shark, evolved extendable jaws to catch fast moving prey. Their ability to adapt has made them one of the ocean's most resilient survivors, but even they may not be able to adapt quickly enough to face modern human threats. Their slow reproductive rates also make them vulnerable. While some fish lay thousands of eggs, many shark species give birth to just a few pups after long gestation periods, sometimes over a year. This means they can't easily recover from overfishing. From the icy waters of the Arctic to the warm shallows of the tropics, sharks inhabit nearly every marine environment on Earth. Some prefer the open ocean, like the majestic blue shark. Others, like the reef shark, live among coral gardens. Some, such as the bull shark, can even survive in freshwater rivers. The great white shark, known for its size and power, it can detect prey from over a mile away and breach the surface in a dramatic leap. The whale shark, the largest fish in the world, it feeds not on seals, but on tiny plankton, using its massive mouth to filter food. The hammerhead shark, its uniquely shaped head gives it 360-degree vision and better maneuverability while hunting in schools. The Greenland shark, one of the longest living vertebrates on the planet, some individuals are believed to be over 400 years old. Each species plays a unique role in its environment, showing just how diverse and adaptable sharks can be. For centuries, sharks have sparked both fear and fascination in human cultures. In some Pacific Island traditions, sharks are considered sacred protectors. In others, they're symbols of power, speed, and mystery. But in the modern age, this ancient relationship has become unbalanced. 
Tourism has grown around shark diving and ecotourism, providing economic incentives to keep sharks alive rather than kill them. In many places, a single live shark can generate hundreds of thousands of dollars in tourism revenue over its lifetime, far more than what it would fetch on a fish market. At the same time, media portrayal, especially in films and headlines, continues to fuel fear. Education and first-hand experiences are key to shifting this narrative and building a future where humans and sharks coexist respectfully. Across the world, scientists, NGOs, and governments are stepping up to protect sharks. Marine protected areas, zones where fishing and industrial activity are restricted, are expanding. Countries like Palau, the Bahamas, and New Zealand have declared their waters as shark sanctuaries, banning shark fishing entirely. International treaties like CITES, Convention on International Trade in Endangered Species, regulate the trade of shark products, especially fins. But enforcement remains a challenge, illegal fishing continues, often hidden by poor reporting or lack of oversight. Organizations are using satellite tags to track shark movements, helping us understand migration patterns and breeding grounds. This knowledge is crucial to creating effective conservation strategies. Public pressure matters too. Campaigns like hashtag stop finning have brought the issue to global attention, with millions signing petitions and demanding legislative change. As climate change warms the oceans, sharks face new and unpredictable challenges. Rising sea temperatures are shifting their habitats. Some species are moving closer to the poles in search of cooler waters, which disrupts ecosystems and increases conflict with human activity. Ocean acidification, caused by increased CO2 levels, affects the entire marine food web, starting with plankton. When the base of the food chain suffers, so do the predators at the top, including sharks. Even subtle changes can impact shark behavior. Some studies suggest warmer waters alter their hunting patterns, reproduction cycles, and migratory timing. In shallow coastal nurseries, heat waves can reduce the survival rates of shark pups. Protecting sharks now means not just defending them from nets and hooks, but also from a rapidly changing climate. Beyond the science and statistics, sharks have inspired some truly incredible real life stories. In South Africa, a man once survived a shark attack, and later became an advocate for shark conservation, saying, I don't blame the shark, I was in his world. In the Maldives, divers have formed bonds with nurse sharks that return to the same reef for years, recognizing individual humans and allowing close interaction. Photographers and marine biologists have swum alongside great whites without cages, proving that respect and calm behavior can replace fear. These stories remind us that sharks aren't monsters. They are wild, intelligent, and often curious creatures, capable of coexistence when we approach with knowledge and humility. Sharks are not villains, they are vital. Ancient guardians of the sea, they help keep the oceans balanced, ecosystems healthy, and life on earth thriving. But now, for the first time in 400 million years, their greatest threat is us. The good news. We also hold the power to protect them. Start by learning. Share what you know. Correct the myths. Speak up for science. Support laws that ban shark finning and protect marine habitats. Choose responsible seafood. Say no to products made from shark cartilage or skin. If you're a traveler, dive responsibly. If you're a student, do a project about sharks. If you're a parent, teach your children that fear is not the answer, but respect is. Together, our voices can reshape the story. Because saving sharks isn't just about saving a single species. It's about saving the rhythm of the ocean, the future of coral reefs, the balance of the food web, and ultimately, our connection to the wild. So the next time you hear the word, shark, don't think of a monster. Think of a masterpiece of nature. Think of a survivor. Think of a guardian of the deep. The ocean needs sharks. And right now, sharks need us. Thank you for joining us on this journey into the world of sharks. Let's work together to ensure that these magnificent creatures continue to thrive, not just in myths and movies, 
but in our oceans for generations to come.